Silencer, a film from 2018, directed by Timothy Woodward Jr., who did the West in Traded, an action film weaponized. And this stars the ensemble cast, Academy Award-winning cast, of Johnny Mesner, who plays Frank, Tito Ortiz, who plays Timothy, Chuck Liddell, who plays Nelson Nell Salvatore. No, I'm not joking here. I keep dropping this. And Danny Trejo, who plays Ocha. Hey, let's dance here. <laughs> this movie was written horribly. I think whoever wrote this film, scripted this film, did not have a good take of the English language. And all the actors kind of followed suit with this. <laughs> like, they didn't even try to change the dialogue. They just kind of memorized their lines and <laughs> said it the way it was written. <laughs> When Tito Ortiz is one of the best actors in this film, yeah, you know something's up with this. Uh, Danny Trejo did it as best as he could with this, but uh, Chuck Liddell was atrocious. And Johnny Mesner, uh, oh my god, hysterical. And Nikki Lay, who played Cass, who played uh, Frankie's girlfriend. Oh my god, overacting city. Technically, not a good film, but entertainment-wise, so much fun. Oh my god. I'm going to try to make sense of this as best I can. Try to give you a proper synopsis of this. It starts off where uh, Johnny Mesner and Tito Ortiz's character, Frank, and Frank, played by Johnny Mesner, and um, Timothy, played by Tito Ortiz, um, they were fighting in a war. Um, and Johnny Mesner's character, Frankie, um, killed um, this a man and his whole family. Um... And he kind of got affected by that. Um, and I'm talking about little kids. And his wife. And these people were innocent. Um, it looks like they were in the Iraq War. It wasn't really describing what war it was. Uh, but these people were fleeing. You know, trying to run away and protect themselves. And it was a whole family, like I say. Two kids, a wife, and a man who were totally innocent. And Frankie just got in the heat of battle and just shot and killed him. So it has affected him ever since. He's taken up to alcoholism, hanging out with Ocha, who runs this cartel. A cartel of dummies, let me tell you. The people he has working for him. Other than Lazarus, who's pretty straightforward. And I gotta say, Robert Lissandra, who played Lazarus, was another really good actor in this film. Um, and I've seen him in a bunch of other films. Um, so he's taken up with those guys and basically being a hitman for them. You know, people owe him money, he hits them, or he beats them up, or whatever. And then he collects the money and gives it to Ocha. But now, he's kind of retired from all this. He's in a straight and narrow. He's branched away from Ocha. And, <clears throat> you know, he has a wife and a little stepdaughter. And he, you know, is a recovering alcoholic. He works a normal job. And he just wants to be in a straight and narrow. Forget about all, all the bad stuff. And especially the, the thing at the war that really affected him, killing that whole family in the heat of battle. <clears throat> But, of course, when you hang out with bad people and you leave them, they always seem to come back. And Ocha um, calls him over for a visit. So he comes over and visits, and it happens to be his granddaughter's birthday. He, you know, she gives a, he, gives him a new, he gives her a new bike, and he plays total granddaddy, but he's just this vicious cartel guy. <laughs> so he, he sets him up for a meeting and wants him to do more work for him, but pretty much... Frank is like, no, I'm on straight and narrow, I'm married, you know, I got my whole life in order. And Ocha's cool with this. Um, so they separate and part ways, and then um, Ocha's daughter wants to go, I mean granddaughter, wants to go for a little bike ride with a new bike. So he tells uh, Chuck Liddell's character, Nelson, he's like, only in the yard, make sure she's safe. You, have to, you know, <laughs> he has one job to do, to make sure she, 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 she's safe. So they're outside, she's riding her bike in the yard, and doing what granddaddy tells her. And then all of a sudden, uh, Nelson runs in. He's like, oh my god, someone hit her and took off. So now Ocha is like devastated because, you know, he lost his granddaughter. And he's very close to his granddaughter. And so he wants to avenge her death by trying to find the guy that killed, um, that killed her and just took off. So he calls Frankie because Frankie was his best hitman. Frankie was the guy that took people down. And so they set up, and, and they're trying to discover who did this. They finally find the guy, and when Frankie goes over there, points uh, his gun at him and tries to shoot him, he just couldn't do it, because he kept reliving when he was in the war, and he, he, he killed and gunned down that family, 
it's really affected him. And so he can't do it anymore. And so he wasn't able to shoot the guy, but the police somewhere got to him. And so the police basically took the guy and took him in the car. The police car took off. So Frankie just takes off and goes home and just kind of uh, <laughs> avoids this whole situation and just leaves, you know, without doing what Ocha has asked him to do. Which means bad things are going to happen to him, obviously. So Ocha's guys, um, Lazarus and Nelson, um, they shoot down the police car and they take the guy and they just brutalize the frig out of this guy and then they, they, they just smoke him. <clears throat> then they're going to go after Frankie because Frankie made a promise to Ocha and you don't break promises with Ocha. <laughs> so they go down and, well, bad things happen to his wife and his um, stepdaughter. Basically, they kidnap his stepdaughter and um, they shoot his wife. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it's it's a gruesome scene. It's not a good scene. Um, but, spoiler alert, I don't think anyone's ever going to see this film, honestly. Um, nobody dies. Every, everything's cool. So Ocha <laughs> takes his stepdaughter and treats her like his granddaughter and calls her by um, his granddaughter's name and everything and saying... I'm your poppy now. I'm your poppy. She's like, I just want to go home to my family. So now, when Frankie comes home and sees his wife just shot down, and she is able to tell him that, you know, they kidnapped his stepdaughter, he goes, he's going after Ocha and going to take down anybody, everybody in Ocha's uh, clan, basically, including Ocha himself. But will he get Ocha? Will he eliminate Ocha so that way he never has to deal with him again? And all his guys, you get to watch Silencer. Like I say, guys, this is a terribly acted film, written poorly. And in a technical aspect, I would give this film, like, <laughs> out of 10, I would give it zero. <laughs> Maybe a one, all right? But on entertainment value, it is a 9. I laughed my buttocks off. In case kids are watching, I don't want to say the other word. This film had me rolling. And another spoiler alert. Like, even if I spoil things for you, <laughs> you still have to watch this film. Because what I'm saying does not do justice to how poorly written this dialogue is. And how poorly acted things are. And how things just don't make any sense in this film. Like, if you're one job, if you work for a cartel guy and your only one job is to walk, to make sure a cartel leader's granddaughter is safe and she dies under your watch, wouldn't you kill the guy? In every film, I would see that guy would have gotten popped. But no one else would never got popped. <laughs> the way that Ocha and that Danny Trejo's character gets killed in the end, oh my god. Let's just say it didn't take much. And for a guy like Danny Trejo, Who's just a, who's a badass. I mean, it looks like he could do damage to people. The way he got killed in the film, oh my God, I dropped to the floor laughing. My wife just looked and she's like, that's it? I'm like, yeah, apparently. And then the film ends. <laughs> I laughed hysterically. So like I say, this is a very, technical wise, it's very deficient. Uh, <laughs> that's the best ranking I could ever give it. I bought this one at the Dollar Tree, so if you see it at the Dollar Tree and want to pick it up, it only costs a dollar, and you might have a lot of entertainment value with this one. Like I say, you know, I'd say uh, Robert Lissandro, who plays Lazarus, and, Ch and uh, Tito Ortiz, and uh, Danny Trejo did an, an admirable job with what they had. Uh, Chuck Liddell was god-awful, and Johnny Mesner was terrible, and Nikki Lay was, like, overacting city. Yeah, silencer. <laughs> yeah. Not a very good one, guys. But us, like I say, if you see it at your Dollar Tree, pick it up because it is entertaining as hell. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And next week, I got something fun to bring to the table. Maybe an Italian film. Hey, Italian. Hey. Or what else? Something else, maybe. But yeah, I'm going with the Italian film. Uh, check out all the other reviewers. Um, they all do a fantastic job. And uh, hopefully the movies they're reviewing are better than Silencer. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll be it on. I'll be entertaining. 
and chicken. Like I said, next week. If you like, like. Please subscribe to Body Bags and maybe Crispy Movies as well. Oh, yeah. Bring some extra stuff to the table as well on my channel. Uh, but you can't go wrong with Body Bags, man. And um, don't forget to watch those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Mags. Don't forget to tune in to another episode of the show we call Body Bags. I'll tie up and make you watch this one 100 times in a row.